the concept of a watermelon project and the critical role of a sponsor in this. And you're going to talk us through that today, Kelly. You're a transformation executive with an impressive track record of strategy, execution and delivery across finance, customer service, operations, digital and technology, innovation, large-scale mergers and acquisitions, product management with a really, you know, humanistic approach to to leadership. Knowing that change is the one constant in life, that really it's about transforming businesses through humanistic leadership. And Alan, you and I have spoken a lot about this, and that is really around the fact that you can have all the tech in the world, in which, you know, tech is the one that's going to help us transform, but it's us as individuals that really help shape and use that tech in the way for good or to transform. If you look at a watermelon, it is green on the outside and very red in the inside. And quite often, you know, how watermelon projects, we find watermelon projects is you quite often have a sponsor putting pressure on the project manager or sponsor expecting that the project is uh, being reported green and so it is reported green but when you look under the bonnet things aren't going so well and so that's what we call the watermelon project if you don't truthfully and as a sponsor create a safe space for our project managers and Mm. program managers to be able to report accurately you'll Mm. end up what i call the car accident a little bit later on and uh, nine times more effort to sort Mm. out a problem than it does to help avoid that problem and and just Mm. be very transparent. So that transparency for me is Mm. absolutely the key.